My brothers and sisters, greetings. We celebrate uh, the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's Gospel presents us an interesting parable. As we know, Jesus was a master of sticky messages, parables like today's Gospel reading of the sower and the seed. Jesus' parables are not short stories like the kind you would find in an anthology or tell as a bedtime tale, usually quite short. There might be a simple image or description from ordinary life. If uh, there is stories, they often take a surprising twist, but always they offer a comparison between something we know, a seed, a banquet, a lost sheep, and something that Jesus wants us to understand, the kingdom of God, the Father's love. Jesus' parables take with us because they open our minds and invite us into the story, which if we have ears to hear is endlessly deep. Each parable is like the seed in today's gospel, alive, good in every season, and capable of yielding an abundant harvest year after year if the soil is receptive. But no farmer who is interested in a profit would be as lavish in spreading seed as the farmer in today's gospel. A discreet farmer is careful to sow only in places which are sure to produce results. But the farmer in the gospel is lavish with the seed, since he represents God, who is always generous with his gifts. The seed represents the word of God, which is found in the inspired pages of sacred scripture. There are 46 books in the Old Testament and 27 in the New. God sows a seed in our minds and in our hearts primarily by means of the liturgy of the word within the celebration of the Mass. To appreciate this generous presentation of the treasures of the Bible, we must all make sure that we are prompt in coming to Mass. In fact, we ought to see to it that we get to church in plenty of time to settle down so that we may close attention to the weddings. Yes, we do need to pay close attention to the weddings of God, to the weddings we proclaim every time we come to us. We are listening in faith. That is, Christ who speaks to us when the scriptures are proclaimed. We can read the Constitution on the liturgy, number 5657. Getting the importance of the word, what about for the communion? One way to view communion is to see that the sacrament of the body and blood of the Lord is like the rain and the snow which come down from heaven to make the earth fruitful. Holy Communion gives us the means we need to turn to the scriptures we hear into the truth which guides and directs our lives according to God's will. Let us, my brothers and sisters, come to the celebration of the liturgy to hear the word of God and to receive his body and blood that will give us eternal life. May God bless you.